What's going on guys, Matt here from Come Elite, and today I wanna to go through my full mobility, stretching, slash yoga routine, whatever you wanna call it. Just to start this video, I just wanna say that I'm not like a yoga instructor, I'm not a certified stretching specialist or whatever you wanna whatever you want to call it. I'm just a professional footballer and on my off day or maybe twice a week, three times a week, I'll do a little bit of stretching, a little bit of mobility just to help my range of motion, get my body feeling a little bit better, maybe aid in recovery a little bit, um, but it's nothing crazy. But I just thought I'd share my full routine, it takes about 30 minutes so you guys can just follow along and do this with me. Uh, this is my cat Gucci and she's crazy and she will be uh, running around here, so sorry about that. Just put up with it. But anyway, here we go. I like to start at the very bottom of my body and just work all the way up. Um, it's gonna be almost all lower body, but we'll just get into it. I like to use a little interval timer. Every stretch is held for about 60 seconds. And then other than that, it's nothing, nothing's too, uh, nothing's too crazy. So first one, I just like to get on my toes. I'm really working on getting uh, stretching the bottom of my, of my feet. Feet are like one of the most underrated things to stretch. A lot of people don't stretch this, but this is a big one for me, especially for soccer players. You'll see this is gonna hurt. It's gonna be very, very tiring. And you just sit on your toes and you just put all your body weight and just let yourself sink down on your heels. And if you guys are like me or you guys play soccer a lot and you don't stretch this a lot, this is gonna hurt. So uh, I've been doing this a while. I'm feeling a little bit more flexible than I used to, but I'm gonna hold this for 60 seconds. And again, like I said, I'm not a normal yoga instructor. I'm not a very calming presence, but, uh, but yeah, just stick with me. So we got 13 more seconds. This is killing me. But the problem is a lot of soccer players, when they go through these, these stretches and everything, or they go through their normal play, their feet or other tendons or ligaments or muscles will tighten up from repetitive movements. So this stuff is huge. The next stretch we're going to do is stretching the top of the feet and almost like the ankles. You're literally just gonna do the exact opposite. Now let your feet just be flat on the ground and just sit on your heels again. Again, just stretching It's gonna hurt the top of your feet a lot. It might even hurt your shins or some ankles, but that's just gonna stretch again the feet and those ligaments and the muscles in there. Again, this is something that would kill me a few years ago. And I've been making it like a, a very big priority in my life to, uh, to just kind of get that range of motion better. Because if your range of motion isn't good, it can lead to injuries, all that, all that stuff. But um, one big misconception a lot of people have is they think that like stretching is a huge like injury preventer. The best thing to do to prevent injuries is a good strength program. This stuff, what we're doing right here, is just helped with range of motion. It will help a little bit, but if you wanna prevent injuries, the number one thing to do is get a well-balanced gym program. Just something I, I wanna say, because that's a big misconception with this kind of stuff. Um, so there we go, there's 60 seconds right there. Next one, what I'm gonna do is just do a calf stretch, so I'm working my way up the body. We've started with the feet and the ankles. Next, we're gonna go into the calves. So I'm just gonna start with the left one. Start right now. And I'm gonna work it a little bit. Like I, I, I kind of like go until I find some place that hurts. Like I might move a little bit. I might come up, come down, push back, go forward. Just kind of get like, just really working on range of motion. But once I find a place where, it, like I'm right there, I was gonna hold it, try to breathe. Again, I don't know the, the proper breathing. This is just stuff that I like to do as a footballer on my off day, sometimes during my week. Gucci, you good over there? So I'm doing the left foot right now. You can do both feet, but I just like to do one foot at a time. I'm gonna move a little bit. Go. And then we'll go over to the right foot. Again, I don't know if I said it, but I'm doing I have this interval timer, so it's 60 seconds long with like a 10 second intermission between each stretch. So we'll go to the right foot now, same thing.
and everybody's a little bit different. Like everybody's gonna have problem areas, some tighter areas. For me, um, definitely, definitely the feet are something that was <laughs> have been really tight for me, but usually it's uh, the groins and the hip flexors. So I'll spend a little bit extra time just for my, uh, my program, my stretching program for myself that you'll see at the very end. But I'm going to try to do everything from the toes up to the like lower back area. So almost done with the right calf now. Three, two, one. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna move up again, hit the quads. I'm gonna start with the left quad. Um, there's a lot of ways to do it. You can do whatever your favorite way of stretching the quad is. I just like getting down into like a little lying position like this. Um, and then leaning back until I can feel that right in the quad area. If this hurts your knee, which happens with a lot of people when they lie down and do this lying quad stretch, if this hurts your knee, stand up and stretch your quad, find some way that works with you. Hey, modify it, modify it for yourself. But um, I like, this works for me. I get a really good stretch in, I'm pushing in, in through the hip flexor, in through the quad, and really stretching that. And once it starts to like, it doesn't hurt as much or it doesn't, Stretch, I don't feel the stretch as much. I'm going a little bit deeper, dropping myself a little bit lower, and just continuing to feel that in the left quad. Good. <laughs> I knew that this cat would be crazy during this. Fetch. All right, eight more seconds, and we're gonna switch to the other leg. All right, there we go. There's the left. Go over to the right now. Something that I, I won't do in this video, but something that I usually do as well, is just do a little bit of mobility. If I did all my full mobility routine with the, uh, with the foam roller, this video would be an hour long or 45 minutes long. But at the end or before this or whatever, you guys wanna use a foam roller, tennis ball, lacrosse ball, whatever, to just do a little bit of extra um, like trigger point release on your muscles, some myofascial you know, release, go for it. So, but this, is, this video will just be my, uh, my stretching routine, so. Same thing with the right, just leaning back, really getting that deep stretch in the quad, even up into the hip flexor. My hip flexors are always tight. I feel like most soccer players, their hip flexors and just hips in general are tight because we're always crouched, changing directions. So just trying to release that, stretching into it. And I'm feeling zero pain in my knees. So I'm doing this, like I said before, if you're feeling any pain, do a standing quad stretch, do something, modify it for your body, everybody's body. Is, uh, is different. Okay, the next one I'm gonna do is just kinda like downward dog. Again, it's gonna do a little bit of the calves, hamstring. So working up, now doing the back side of the body. I'm just gonna come up like this. Both feet down, flat on the ground. Again, I'm not a yoga expert, yoga instructor. This is my version of the downward dog. Even if this is the downward dog, I'm not even 100% sure. But I feel this a ton in the calves, behind my knees, in my hamstrings. And I'm just working on moving my, my hips backwards into it and trying to keep my back straight, even though it's probably not. <sighs> yeah. Ooh. I'm not the most, the most flexible person in the world, but I've gotten a lot better than I used to be. It's all about progress. I'm sure there's gonna to be tons of you guys who are much, much more flexible than I am, or you might be much, much more inflexible than I am. It's all good. There we go, another 60 seconds. Uh, next we're gonna do my one of my favorite stretches. It's called the frog stretch. You're just gonna get down, put your knees as wide as you can, and you're gonna stretch the adductors now. Then once you get in this position, I like to go down into my forearms, back it up a little bit, go to my forearms, and then just tilt my whole body backwards and lean backwards. And you should feel this right in your groins or your adductors. It's a killer. This is a big one for me after my, uh, my adductor surgeries. My doctor, my uh, surgeon kept on telling me, is like, keep, the, keep stretching those adductors. It's gonna tighten up after the surgery. So pretty much since my very first surgery, second surgery, uh, I've just been focusing a lot on stretching out the adductors so they don't tighten up after uh, after the surgeries. But they're feeling great now. But I'm just gonna stretch it. 
try to get deeper. I might move my knees as wide as I can and tilt back again. Oh, okay. Next one is gonna be pretty much the same thing, hitting the adductors again. But what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do it on one side. So I'm gonna stick out one leg to the side. I'm just gonna rock back again. This time you should feel it again on your adductor all the way up. I feel it the most like right here, like right at the inside part of the, uh, the adductor, almost hamstring on the left side. I'm also even feeling a little bit of a stretch on my right side as well. Again, this is one of my, my favorite ones. I've been doing this a lot after the surgeries and everything. Um, but like I said, my body's feeling really, really good, but I'm taking care of it. I'm doing a ton of range of motion stuff like this, a ton of uh, myofascial release, massages, soft tissue work, and then a ton of strengthening work, tons of Copenhagen's, tons of adductor movements, tons of just everything in general. Strengthen it, improve the range of motion, and just keep everything in balance. That's the, that's the key. <sighs> Ooh, yeah, Gucci, hey, what you doing? Three, two, one, now switch over to the right side. Okay, I'll give a few seconds. There we go, it starts now. Something I'll do too when I stretch is uh, on the exhale, try to go a little bit deeper. So I'll be up, inhale, and then as I exhale, go a little bit deeper and hold. And then once the stretch becomes a little bit easier, do the same thing, inhale. Then on the exhale, go a little bit deeper. There we go. more seconds with this like I said a lot of people think like this stretching routine is, is like the key to um, recovery and injury prevention and it helps like don't get me wrong like you're helping yourself doing this but oh, there we go but mainly with recovery it's eating right sleeping right and just being in shape and hydrating yourself and then um, with uh, with injury prevention it's all about strength training, having a good, good, well-balanced physique and well-balanced body. Anyway, next stretch right now, uh, seated hamstring. So we're doing a hamstring now, just putting my legs together, trying to grab my toes, trying to keep my back as straight as possible, even though there is definitely some, some curve back there. I'm just grabbing my toes and trying to pull in. Again, I'm feeling this all the way from the hamstrings down into the, the calves. It's a good stretch. <laughs> it's a classic. This is like everybody's go-to, and it's like, so okay guys, stretch, this is everybody's go-to. Hamstrings. There we go, next one, spread and you're gonna go straight down the middle now. So I'm just spreading it as wide as I can. I used to have a teammate that could literally just go like all the way 180 degrees in your way and then just go straight down the middle. <sighs> Trying to keep my back straight-ish. <sighs> this one I feel like in the hamstrings as well, but it's almost also in the adductor, a little bit inside hamstring versus the, the straight leg was like right in the middle of the hamstring. This one, I'm definitely feeling it in the adductors as well. I used to follow, if you guys have been following me for a while, you know that I used to do all of uh, Millionaire Hoy's uh, yoga and stretching routines for athletes. I love Millionaire Hoy. And then he just deleted it. Like he deleted his whole channel, deleted all of his videos. So that was like my favorite yoga routine, stretching routine, and then it just got deleted.
delete it off of YouTube. So I'm almost creating this as well just for myself to follow along with my own videos of myself. If that's weird to watch myself stretching on TV or whatever, follow along. But uh, I'm sure you guys will follow along with this one as well. All right, so same thing, leg spread. We're gonna go to the left side. I like to just grab with one. I also feel this a ton in my lower back as well, like this muscle right back here and a little bit in the hip. So I'm just gonna come in here. <sighs> Again, you know, move your body, find something that's tight, just twist a little bit, see where, see how you feel like this. If I twist out, I can feel like my lower back tight right here. So I might hold it right here. <sighs> Go up with your other arm, you know, whatever you wanna do. Yeah, that feels good. Ooh. <sighs> hold for like 20 seconds. 20 more seconds at least. <sighs> Gucci's been playing with this, this bottle cap for the last hour. <sighs> All right, shake it out a little bit. Then we'll go into the other side, the right side in three, two, one, go. Yeah, but like I said about the misconception with stretching and recovery, like everybody thinks it's like, oh, you need to recover. Like, oh, you should stretch, stretch out your muscles. Uh, the best thing, the best thing to do for recovery, sore muscles is sleep is the number one. Sleep, nutrition, and hydration. Those are like, that's gonna give you the 80% results of recovery. That's what you should focus on. Getting eight to 10 hours of sleep. You should focus on getting enough protein in, enough good carbs, enough, enough healthy fats. You should be focusing on drinking enough water. And that's what's gonna help you recover. I see so many players, they are doing the stuff like this. They're doing an ice bath, they're doing the stretching routines, but then they go and and they're not getting enough protein and they're sleeping six hours at night. That It's so backwards. Your focus should be on your sleep, it, getting enough protein in, eating the right stuff, hydrating, and then the secondary stuff, this stuff, the stretching, the ice baths, all is like a supplement to that. It's literally a supplement for your recovery. It's not the main thing. So there we go. Now we're gonna do my another one of my favorite stretches. You can use a couch, you can use a wall, you can use a Swiss ball, you can do anything. I like to use the couch. I'm gonna put one leg up here Stretch back. This is gonna really hit the quad and the hip flexor. I get such a deep, such a deep stretch for this. You can go forward, you can go backwards. The more backwards you go, the more I'm gonna feel in the quad. The more forward I go, the more I feel in the hip flexor. So I try to find like a happy medium in between the two so I can feel it all down the hip flexor, all down the quad. This one kills me. Hey. <laughs> Gucci. There we go. Yeah, this one kills me. I don't know why. Just tight, always tight, right, right in here. So this is a good one. I'm like squeezing my glutes back here. Oh, nice. One. All right, now we're gonna do the right one. So bring the left foot up, put the right foot back. I'm trying to put my knee like as far back as I can against the couch. I'm just gonna push back. Woo. And a lot of times like people will have their like bellies like really poking forward. Try to bring that in, try to squeeze in your abs, push out with the glutes and like the, uh, the hips. Try to keep your stomach and your abs like engaged when you're doing this at least. That's what I've heard. I want to know what it, what you guys is like. What stretch you feel the like the is the most painful? This one, this one, and the uh, one of the glute ones for me always always kill me. <sighs> Almost done. we go. All right, so now we're gonna do like the same thing. I'm gonna be um, just on the ground. I'm just gonna do the same hip flexor stretch, but this time I wanna focus more instead of on the quad. I'm really focusing all on the hip flexor. So again, bringing in 
my core sucking in my stomach, squeezing my glute back here, and then just pushing forward so I'm feeling it all right here on the hip flexor. Really pushing forward, trying to bring my hip as forward as possible. All the stretches right here. This for me is the tightest, the hip right here, the hip flexor. And I have a lot of injuries here too because it would get tight and then it would get weak because I never, ever, ever did strength strengthening for the hip flexor. I do my normal, you know, squats, lunges, deadlifts, stuff like that. But I never did like isolation work, band work, or whatever for the hip flexor, adductors, etc. And that's where all my uh, all my injuries occurred. <sighs> a couple more seconds, and then there. And then, so the next one we're gonna do is just take this leg and come 90 degrees. And then we're gonna push in. I'll give you guys another angle right here. But you're basically you're gonna do the same thing. Move it to the side, and then you're gonna come in forward and to the side, almost diagonally. And you should feel a really good stretch again in the adductors, hip flexor all in this area. It's one of the, another really, really good stretch, something I really like. <sighs> I'm giving you guys some great, some great angles right now. <sighs> Sorry about that. Go a little bit farther, a little bit deeper, feeling it really high up here in the adductor, which is good. Something I definitely need because I've had, um, partial adductor releases surgery on both the left and the right. I've had surgery on both sides of my abdominal wall. So this is a good one. You can even bring your hand right here and kind of even open it up more and then sit deeper. That gives me a really deep stretch. And I'm also feeling it on this side too. Okay, next one we're gonna do the exact opposite. So I was stretching the right side. Now I'm just gonna go got the left knee Bring the right knee up. I'm gonna stretch the left hip flexor now. <sighs> Same thing, not having my stomach out like this. Bring the stomach in a little bit. Squeeze the hip flexor, squeeze the glute, and then lean forward. Feel a good deep stretch right, right here. Gucci's playtime, I think. Hey, what are you doing? Gucci. A couple more seconds. So as you can see, that I kind of like to work my way up, up the body. It just helps me mentally kind of visualize it, like starting from literally the toes and working all the way up now to the hip flexors, high up in the adductors. Next we'll do like some glute stuff. Okay, there we go, then same thing. Bring this leg 90 degrees to the right. I'll rotate for you guys. The left knee still down, right knee up. Instead of being up like this, just come 90 degrees. I'm gonna use my right hand to kind of like push against this. Again, feeling my, a lot of my right adductor, my left adductor a little bit, and then just kind of lean into it deeper. Ooh. Try to keep my stomach in a little bit. Engage that. Also kind of helps you like not forget anything because if I work at the very bottom I go toes like ankles calves hamstring quads adductors and kind of like work it that way I, I know I'm hitting everything Whew, okay that's enough of that stuff now we're gonna do another all these stretches are like my favorite <laughs> that's why I'm like including them but another great one figure four I'm just gonna come down here bring my leg across reach through then just lean back I'm feeling this a ton in my lower back, then my glute. So just bringing this in, trying to keep my, my back straight, bringing this in as much as possible. There was once a time where I was so inflexible that I was literally couldn't do this. But now I'm a lot better. <sighs> a 
glutes are another thing that tightens up in a lot of soccer players. Glutes and lower back. This is a great one for that. Ten more seconds. switch sides to the left if this hurts your knee ankle again um, you can do like a, a pigeon where you come up on like where it's like on the ground um, but again you know just kind of modify it tweak it move it around until you find a place that feels better it doesn't hurt as much so now I'm working on the left glute just bring this in 60 seconds perfect like for this for me I sprained my left ankle about a week ago, super minor, nothing crazy, didn't even have to come out of the training. But I'm just feeling like a little bit of pain during this, so just gonna move it around a little bit till it doesn't hurt as much. There we go, that's fine now. <sighs> you guys probably were looking for like a nice calming like yoga teacher. And then you have me not saying the right names for the stretches, talking the entire time. Okay, there we go. Next one, we're gonna do the seal. This is a good one just for the, uh, the stomach hip flexors as well. Just come down just like this. You're just gonna push your, yourself up. I always feel this, it's, it's weird. I always feel this on one side more than the other, which kind of means like, Usually it's my right side, which probably is coming from, because I use my right foot, my right leg, my right hip flexor, all more to kick. So it's probably why my right abdominals, right hip flexor, are all just like a little more tight than the left side, which is good to uh, try to balance it out. Okay, 30 seconds, I'm gonna come back down, move my hands a little bit farther back, come up again. something a few years ago next one child's pose so same thing from the seal now we're just gonna come leaning back a couple seconds here we go lean straight back it's great for the back upper back lower back love love this one try to reach out as far as you can use your fingers to like make yourself go as far and then try to bring your butt back as far as you can. Seven, six, five, four, three. Okay, almost done. Just had to restart my camera because the 30 minutes was just about done. So the, the, uh, the final stretch is this crisscross applesauce stretch, as my, as my teacher would say, left foot under, and then I'm just gonna reach forward. That's about it. I, I'm feeling this right on the glutes, lower back, trying to keep my back straight, come down as far as I can, and just hold. Right now my left foot is like underneath my right foot. And again, if you guys are getting any discomfort in your knees at all, ankles, hips, or a weird pain, not a stretching pain, but like a, a an actual like kind of twingy pain, like something's wrong, modify this, do a different glute stretch. There's tons out there. There's one that will that will work for your body. Don't don't push through something and make a, you know, cause not, not everybody's body is the same. So you gotta focus on that. This is a great one though. I love this one. <sighs> 
three, two, one. Okay, then the very last one, what we're just gonna do is bring the right foot out and now underneath the left foot and then come forward, do the same exact thing, get all comfortable and then reach down again. There was a time where I was so inflexible with this one that my knees were like way up here. I could, I, I was like doing this, my hands are back here instead of coming forward and doing this. So I still have like, you know, a long ways to go. Uh, actually, I'm pretty happy with my flexibility now, but um, I've come a long way. So I'm really easy, Gucci. <laughs> pretty happy with that. Reach forward a little bit farther and farther. <sighs> hey, you just hit my microphone. <laughs> What's wrong with you? All right, almost done. <sighs> okay, and that is like my full stretching routine. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend three more minutes to do like the tight areas of my body. So um, this is just something that I like to do because everybody's body is different. So whatever you were stretching for this whole thing, whatever felt like, oh, you know, I wanna revisit that, like whether it was this one with the toes, whether it was like the adductor one, hamstring, whatever's tight on your body, go and do that stretch. For me, what's always tight is actually this exact one with the toes and then also the, uh, the quad one. So I'm gonna spend three minutes right now. Here we go. I'm gonna start doing that with the toes, this one, because this one just kills me. I wanna get better. I wanna improve my flexibility of, of, of my toes and the ligaments in there. This one. Let me know if this one kills you guys. This is the by far the worst stretch for me. It's killing me. But it's good. When you can feel that, like that pain, not pain, it's the difference between like a discomfort and a pain. This is definitely discomfort. But when you feel that discomfort, it means that that area is really tight and overworked or whatever. And so for like soccer players that run in a tight soccer boot, it's laced up tight, they're constantly running, pushing off the big toes. Those muscles, those ligaments, everything is gonna tighten it up. Um, so it's just good to kind of go do the opposite, you know, because sometimes a lot of those repetitive movements is what causes injury. Gucci, you good over there? Yeah, hey, you good? A few more, oh, we're already in the rest time. Okay, now I'm gonna do the quad one on the couch. One more time, we'll start with the left. Push my knee a little bit closer to the couch, come back. Ooh, dang. How you doing? <laughs> You're evil. <laughs> Why don't you stretch out? Easy, easy Gucci. No. I almost locked her away up in the uh, in my bedroom when I was before I started this, but she's kinda cute. Okay. Now let's do the right side, the very last 60 seconds of the stretching routine, and we're done. And that is the 30 minute Matt Sheldon become elite stretching extravaganza, whatever you want to call it. So I hope, you know, again, like you guys don't have to do these three stretches. This is just what was tight on me, the hip flexors and the feet. Um, so whatever, whatever was tightest on you, whether it was the hamstrings, adductors, quads, um, glutes, whatever you guys want to just get another deeper 60 seconds of stretching in, go for it. These are just my three stretches of, of choice. And the right side again, the right side's way tighter than the left side from all the kicking, everything that I, I use my right foot more than my 
my left foot. There we go, 10, 10 seconds. guys so i hope that you guys liked this stretching routine i hope you guys followed along we guys got something out of it like i said quick 30 minutes got the entire lower body in um hope you guys liked it even though i'm not the not the typical yoga instructor or stretching specialist like i said or whatever uh but if you guys did like this video be sure to save it you know bookmark it whatever so you can come back and use it again um share it with whoever might need it and uh, let me know what you guys thought. This is my very first yoga video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, guys, peace.